I slept with my ex's brother. Whoa. Murderer! Murderer! <laughs> what what's nice? I don't know. What, what's nice do you mean? Kind. Yeah. <laughs> you, you need to be saying that to that one. Yeah. Yeah. Be kind to me. He's, he's the horrible one. No, don't be horrible. It's definitely not me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not, I'm not even going to try. But welcome to Sinners Podcast. Hello. Thank you for having me. So a few um, home rules. When you are speaking to the mic, make sure you speak like that <laughs> to it. Okay. So you, this well, you have to pretend it is. So we can get... Well, he usually says pretend it's a cock. <laughs> <laughs> so to service it like a cock, so you know... Oh, he's adding his extra <laughs> spin on to it. Service it like... <laughs> I said service it. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll treat it um, well. Make sure all the phones are on silent or on airplane mode. And enjoy yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I said enjoy yourself. <laughs> Sinners Podcast, the world's most dangerous podcast. I'm Sinner Speed. Sinner Leco. Well, go on, Leco. It's a bit of a quiet one today, but, uh, you know, doesn't no one can't say we can't have a show with just one person, innit? You don't, you don't mean we have to have loads of people on the show. Yo, sometimes it's got to be quiet one, man. It's got to be done, man. The show has to go on. You get what I'm saying? you got key, key on the bar as a barman, you know, or armchair man. Armchair oh, man, definitely that. But is this your first time being barman? Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. You do it for the sports show all the time, don't yeah, you? Yeah, usually on the sports show, so this is a unknown territory for me. To be <laughs> yeah, just remember it's the red light, bro, so it's not sports, right? Man. <laughs> Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do that now. Um, where's our Manscaped? Pa- Manscaped, can you please bring our care package, please? Manscaped uh, 5.0, we're waiting for. Do you know what, you know what Manscaped is? So it's... Um, what do you think it is first? What, do you, what does it sound like? Manscaped, it sounds like keeping yourself tidy down there, like yeah, Manscaped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that... That's, that's exactly yeah. That. It's like a bulls, balls grooming kit. Oh, yeah. what do you have on the table? Yeah, yeah. it's like a package, isn't it? Like, so, I've, so we've got this. This is the old weed one. Weed whacker. Also. Oh. Yeah. That's for you. That's for the you know, nose. Yeah. Weed whacker, we call that. Oh. But no, we've got the balls one. Balls shavers. That's yeah. good though. Nice to keep yourself all nice. Yeah, and when you shave, you no know, cutting, so you can get right up on the balls. Yeah, I've heard that hurts. Yeah, but not with a manscape. No, <laughs> yeah. five point oh. oh. So go to manscape.com. Free, free shipping with you and uh, 20% off if you use a promo code SINNERS. Um, big up Virtus Brands. That's all of the alcohols there. So you've got your F28s, your G92 vodkas, your strawberry vodkas, Jack Life, all of the rest, and a few more to come as well. Uh, go on to the website, virtusbrands.co.uk and um, promo code is SINNERS10. Um, what else? That's it, isn't it? Where, where's our worker? Where, where's the sinners worker? Um, I think Twyla left it. Um, Bad mind. She was supposed to bring it and she left it. <laughs> yeah. Twyla, just next time, just, you know, pay attention, man. Stop leaving <laughs> things around. Yeah. There's, there's one on the wall, but it's empty. Big up Keith in the building. Hi, Keith. <laughs> Keith was at a very, 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 very first show. <clears throat> Isn't it? Oh, yeah, Keith yeah. was... You know, on the, the, um, the trial one that we done, the first show that we ever did, it was us two, Keith, and um, uh-huh. another yeah. another lady. Did she? Oh, she was on the deleted episode as well, wasn't she? Oh, we have to delete that, innit? Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, where are we going from here? Keith, what's your biggest sin? <laughs> <laughs> None your business, man. <laughs> yeah, that sounds dangerous, you know. Keith, that's a dangerous thing, you know. Isn't it? No, I can't say, to be fair. Just can't say. Why? It's just one of those, isn't it? Like, I, Give I, us a clue. No, I like to keep things where they, where they need me to be, but <laughs> tucked away. Do you know Keith, what I mean? That's not the idea of the show, man. Come on, man. I understand that. <laughs> oh, I'm on the, the sports show, you see. This, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said that, Keith. You said that. Just give us a Canadian scene. <laughs> Canadian said, 
Uh, Speaking a Canadian accent. I can't. If my mom was here, I'd probably, would probably be able to, but nah, I haven't got any sins, you know. Nothing that I can declare anyway. <laughs> How do people from Canada speak? Oh my gosh. So, uh, they say A a lot, so how you doing, eh? Yeah, they do. And like, yeah. come on, guy. Stuff like that. So, I, I don't know. I haven't been there for a while, but yeah. Yeah, but when we was in Dominican Republic, it was beer Canadians and that's how I was talking. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a, it's like a, a mix between a fake yardie and an American put together. So you put it together and that's what you get. Okay. You get a Canadian talking. <laughs> and who side do you want, Drake or Weekend? See, you, you... <laughs> I'll say Drake. I'll say Drake. I'll say, yeah, it has to be Drake. Yeah, it has to be Drake. Are you a Drake fan? I do like his music. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, have you been seeing the beef that's been going on recently? No. It's funny because I, <laughs> I asked you earlier, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, who's winning, Kendrick or, Kendrick or um, Drake? And you went, see, I haven't been watching much sports. <laughs> <laughs> and you started talking about Tyson Fury. <laughs> so did, did you not know who Kendrick and Drake were? You know who Drake is, obviously, isn't it? I know who Drake is. He probably like knows that one, two, or two <clears throat> songs or something, isn't he? I do like his music. I don't know all the words for all of his songs. Name either. one of his albums. Drake, Drake. <laughs> don't know. That's true. Everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. Actually. And what's the so, the what's the song that he was doing that dance? You don't even remember that one. What? Yeah, that's. Singing it again. What, what song were you saying? <laughs> when he was doing that dance. What dance? <laughs> he was just doing that weird dance, isn't he? I can't even do it now. I'm not going to attempt it. Who Drake? Yeah. Oh, the hotline one. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's why there's a big fan, you know. She's like, you're what's going on over there? <laughs> Obvious. I'm terrible with names and things. Mm. Terrible. All right, so, then, uh, introduce yourself, though. Hello. First. Thank you for having me. Mm, thank you for being here. My name's Brianna. Hello, Brianna. Hi. And I've just travelled up from Essex to come and see you guys. Shut up. Yeah, Shut I know. Up. I don't sound like that, though, do I? Kind of, not Slight twang, you know. Do I? Yeah, just a bit. Are you, like, from the posh side of Essex? Near Hertfordshire. Okay. Is that, more, is that like farmland kind of? Yeah. Semi? I'm actually a farmer's daughter. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mad. how's that go for you? <laughs> yeah. Can you ride horses on it? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Jump over the little. Yeah, but I'm more of a western. I like cowgirl. You like cowgirl stuff? Yeah, I'm more of a western girl. Oh, okay. You know, the cowgirl outfit and barrel so racing. You wear boots and, and all that stuff? Yeah. yeah. I can imagine wearing the boots and the leather jacket. <laughs> and it's a lot nicer as well. I find like show jumping that girls are very different, whereas Western. Oh, that type of cowgirl. Oh, yeah, you yeah, like was yeah. Of run, course, of course. What did you think I meant? I thought, I thought you, you meant riding him. Yeah, I thought I'm in the position to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that why you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> oh, well, my, 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 my <laughs> mind was running away with itself there. Yeah. You know, no, I was a little shocked. Ah, it's a good rhythm. Okay. Yeah. Cowgirl, not doggy. They, they both hit different, don't they? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what do you do, uh, <clears throat> Brie? So I actually have a full-time job as well. And I do my full-time job by day. And then I do OnlyFans in the evenings and weekends. Wow. So the OnlyFans is the side hustle? Yeah. yeah. Is, it the side, is it really the side hustle or is it... Is it which one plays more? It depends. It can go up and down. Depends, depends. How, how much work you want to put in. Yeah. It's not, I say it's easy, hard money. Yeah. It's easy as in you can be in your own environment and choose when to work, but it's not, it's not easy. But maybe that's because I work full time as well. And it's long I, hours, basically. I, yeah, I help look after my gran as well. So, yeah, it's a, okay. So, well rounded then. Yeah. What do you prefer? Both are very different. I feel that the day job is the accepted normal mm -hmm. work, <clears throat> and then the evening and the, when the weekend. Catwoman comes out. Yeah, and I can, um, yeah, they're very different. Okay, so let's say your job was going to offer you like a, a hundred grand mm. um, 
hundred thousand pound a month raise. Yeah. A month. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But OnlyFans started started like going through the roof. Two hundred fifty grand a month. Which one are you choosing? I enjoy OnlyFans more. So you're taking the OnlyFans route? I would do. In all honesty, yeah. Sacking after job. Yeah. So at the minute, do you do you only work because you think you have to work or you enjoy actually going to work too? Do you, do you only work because it's the... Because like what you just said, yeah, I, I work and then I do that at night. So in the daytime, are you just feeling like it's just the norm to go to work? That's why. Do, do you only go to work for that? I think so. Yeah. I think so as well, having a routine and a structure. Because technically, <clears throat> and also, you could do OnlyFans on its own, really, isn't it? If yeah. you put the work just into that. A lot of the girls that I've worked with, they have all said to me, why don't you go full-time doing it? Mm. Because they said, like, the hours that you're staying up and trying to juggle it all is just madness. But yes. I also do enjoy my normal job, and I've worked there for 10 years. So, and, yeah. Do people in your normal job know what you do? Some. Just some, but do they do it too, the ones that do know? No, oh. not all of them. So it's very hard. And I think also as well, I think... People are very quick to judge OnlyFans girls, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Very quick. Definitely. And so whereas <clears throat> when people say to you, oh, what do you do? Like you can say, oh, actually, oh, okay. yeah, I work yeah, in yeah. accounts oh. and I do payroll. Yeah, rather so that's than what just I mean. So that's why I asked you. That's why I said yeah. for the norm, like you only work for, for that reason. Basically. Probably, yeah. yeah. Which is shit, really, because you shouldn't have to but I am learning to actually I feel that this whole thing the last year that I've been doing OnlyFans it's just been very much a journey Mm. of growing as well how did you get into it? so originally I thought right I want to try and get some extra money because I graduated I I went to the Open University Mm. and I got my degree and my plan was to go and be a criminal psychologist um and then my um my he's not my biological dad but he brought me up with my grand he fell very ill and so life changed a little bit and sometimes you need a bit of stability you don't need to yeah Mm -hmm. yeah and unfortunately he got really well um really unwell with cancer and for me it was just I needed a bit of stability and everything. So sometimes you think, oh, I don't, you can't add stress to your life. Do you know what I mean? So, and then I just carried on with it. And then I was like, I could do with some extra money actually. Mm. Because I'd used all my money up getting through uni. Um, And... I thought, oh, sort it, I'll just start it. And I thought, well, what the fuck would you do? So I just like put some underwear on, put a picture up, and you just think, you, you, just you start go into it. On your own. No, yeah. one never, no one ever said to you, what are you starting only fans? You just thought, oh. I just thought, people have said to me about it in the past, like, oh, you should do modeling, do this, yeah. but I've always boo booed. Like, just, and to be honest, if you said to me two years ago, you'd be doing OnlyFans mm. and you'd be doing this, like, I'd be like, no, I, wouldn't. I couldn't do that. Couldn't do it. Couldn't okay. do it. And then I think once you do it. Just get into the swing of it. Yeah. And obviously my passion with OnlyFans is doing wet and messy and sploshing. So wet f- and messy. Yes. <laughs> Where you set? Oh, I didn't mean to press the clock. Where you set? <laughs> so what is wet and messy and splodging? Sploshing. Splodging. splodging. It is a bit of splodging, really, actually. Probably. Spunking. Sp- splodging. <laughs> What's it for you and spunk? <laughs> so with wet and messy, it's um, it's anything. It's basic like gunge, pies, modern stuff, different consistency of foods. So I don't know a lot of custard. How did you get into that? I've always enjoyed 
sensations and feelings like t- don't tell me that you've never have you never put cream on a girl and licked it off her or chocolate cream. or like shared strawberries and no you like cream like nah, have, you? Nah, nah. have you not how am i have you key yeah. <laughs> yeah, like had a bit of a sensual night, some champagne, some strawberries, some cream, some chocolate, and like had a good I, I night. Know, I and... Nah, but yeah, yeah. but that, yeah, I've, but obviously I've heard of that stuff, but when but you that... get into like spaghetti and stuff like that, <laughs> yeah, I, I like I want to know how you, how did you. But that, like, that is wet and messy, that is sploshing. So basically, it's just you've that had that's, partners that's acceptable. That you, that's what you're doing, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I've always enjoyed that. So what I'm saying is, so that one day you was you had chocolate and cream on you, and and then you thought to yourself, "Oh, this sensation's all right. Let me try splodging and all that stuff." It's nice. And then, so and then I had a photo and I put a picture up of me with the chocolate and cream up. Mm -hmm. And then somebody messaged me and they were like, "Oh, you do wham, which is wet and messy." Mm -hmm. And he messaged me and he was like. I'll give you £250 if you fill up a bucket with shaving foam and tip it over you. And I was like, okay. And obviously I enjoy all that messy stuff yeah. anyway. So I was like, I've no, okay, shaving foam, okay. Mm-hmm. And i done it and then I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. And it started from there. And it is literally, yeah. Because people don't talk about these kinks and things. People don't talk about them. Mm. And since I've been doing OnlyFans, I've opened, like, it's, that world is so normal to me. Like, on Sunday, I was caning someone. Just and then go to work on Monday. Like, how was your weekend? Yeah, nothing, just chilled, whatever. So but, you're the cat woman then, basically? But you're sitting there at your desk and I think, well, on Saturday I had a messy shoot, so I was in a gunge tank having mm. fun, playing a quiz game. And then on Sunday I'm dressed as a, as a headmistress and, a, and, and, then in a, and in latex and stuff and I'm yeah. caning and... And then Monday, the and, girl next door again. And then Monday, back at my desk and... Everyone thinks I'm just had a boring, quiet weekend. So what about after this show now? Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone's got <laughs> your, your colleagues that you don't know. There's probably loads of colleagues that were that watch this. Probably. And there's probably people that have seen things, but yeah. they just won't <clears throat> say about it. Because it is, it's a very, to me, it's, no, it's normal. I hate saying the word normal, but it's, whereas, you know, like showing you my photos now, you're like, are you allowed to do that with your job? What? With the job that you're in? Yeah, yeah it wouldn't affect it. No. Nah. No. Nah. Does the boss know? One of mine sort of do. Has he paid for stuff? I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> probably, probably hasn't it secretly. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine there's actually people on there and I have no so idea. So what's, what's, what is the fetish like? Is it a turn on? Like, what? how do you feel? Like, it just feels nice. I don't it feels nice as well. Yeah. But I love the humiliation as well. I love yeah. the dress up. I love forgetting. Mm. That I love the different characters. So one minute I'll be dressed as a princess or one minute I'll be dressed as, like I'll be uh, a glamorous in an expensive dress, like a brat that's been humiliated mm. and stuff. And it's an escape. Okay. What's the worst you've had on you? <clears throat> Poo. No, I don't do scat. I was the name for it. Yeah, scat is like sick and poo. And oh. No. Oh, so that's, that, that's your limit then, so it's only food. That's my limit. <laughs> Keys forgive you. So any, any, yeah, I've, I don't think there's probably any food that I haven't had on me. No. No. So if someone paid you to do poo, you wouldn't do it? No. No money? No. What about, is it a bukkake? No. That's not the same for kind of thing. But it's all over, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is kind of. What, as in like... Bukaki. Bukaki, yeah. where you just get... Spunk. Spunk all over you. I mean, with a partner, yeah, but not... Also, I'm, with your OnlyFans, it's not so much... I don't I don't go with... I don't do no. I do not do boy-girl stuff, no. No, okay, just... just girl-girl girl stuff. Yeah. You do girl-girl? I've just started doing girl-girl stuff. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you do boy, boy-girl stuff? Um... Would you, all do, would you only want to do it with a partner? There's one, <clears throat> yeah, if I've, there's one person that I do would 
like I do do boy girl stuff with mm. um but well, that's, that's your regular piece I don't yeah <laughs> pretty much Basically. pretty much it's your regular piece when it comes around get the but camera out <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> get the camera out let's make some money <laughs> but yeah but there's no no it doesn't it doesn't no does he get paid um if if it depends what the shoot is hmm. sometimes that's it's a free blurry for a minute covered in custard <laughs> I, I always has to involve the food though um with the messy stuff yeah that's that's what it is and the thing is with the messy what i love is because of obviously my thing is the wham stuff mm-hmm. but through doing that and exploring that kink i've then started to explore the other kinks such as the, the cane in the bondage where you've seen me tied up the uh, loads of other things mm. and it's very different whereas with my only fans with the 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 wham it's such a different audience like they i haven't got one rude person on my only fans i haven't got one demanding person they know how busy i am they're so understanding like when i do the lives we talk like we talk like this mm. i don't just go on and go like you know like people we talk about our ups and downs and stuff like that as well and it's almost like it's called like bees and Missy bakery but like we call it just the bakery and there it's just a safe place that everyone can talk about whatever mm. and yet when i'm on the brianna account it's very different it's very like well where's where's my video like well did it Just and it's very down for your customers. it's very yeah 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 and it is demanding. very much like demanding it's very different audience very um they're, they're horny, horny. They're, wanna, yeah. they're horny they want to wait and think yeah. like you're there waiting for their message and you're not whereas the bakery lot they mm. know i'm at work they know i care for my grand they know this they know that like i've gone on a live before and just they're like are you okay Bree? like blah blah and i've i've just broke down and yeah. i've just spoken oh, to him okay. like like friends as well like so it's therapy <clears throat> yeah i feel like we've got a little bit of a community on there as well and okay. all talk about the wet and messy stuff as well you know it's this so did you get no help like starting this you just no. done research on yourself and just started up. you got friends in that that day as well i've made friends through doing oh, it yeah. None of my actual friends out of it do it, no. So do you think that you created some sort of, like, comfort zone place for yourself or somewhere where, like, a you know, the, yeah. a, a getaway kind of space? Yeah, definitely. Definitely is. And when you're doing Wham! as well, it is such a... It is an escape. It is. What, what would you be escaping from? Life's hard sometimes, isn't it? Definitely. It's fucking hard. And, you know, over the last couple of years, I've been on such a mental journey. Mm. Um, you know, as I said, like, you know, I was brought up by my grandparents. I didn't have either of my mum and dad around until, until you know, my mum's very much in my life now. But, um, and, yeah, it was it was tough sometimes growing up. Mm. Was you a good kid? It was tough. I was, but I was very troubled. Like I got expelled from school and yeah. got into drink and drugs. And creepy and stuff <laughs> <laughs> no, but if I was, maybe I wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was hard. It was hard at times. It was hard because um, I think as a child as well, like watching, you know, my mum and dad gave me to my grandparents when I was two. Mm-hmm. Um, my Why did they give you to your grandparents? I don't really know. Just both of them together? Yeah, I think my mum says one side and my dad says one story. Okay. And all I know is that I was very lucky to have my gran. Yeah. And, um, you know, and then, yeah. Did they stay together? Brought, my parents? Yeah. No. So no. They-, they, they, they went on and had, like, their own families. Um, but, um, yeah, I've never really had... So your mum had more kids when she, when she gave you away to your nan, yeah. your granddad. So did you know your brothers and sisters? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 
Yeah. I'm I'm actually very close to my little sister on my mum's yeah. side, yeah. My mum was always... Um, I think my mum had a bit of a tough upbringing as well. Mm. Not that's you know, but I think... And then as we got... I think as we got older and stuff, I think we've become closer and, st- and stuff, but... Um, yeah, it's, it's hard. And I think as a teenager, you're finding yourself, aren't you? So you're like, <clears throat> and I found it, yeah, I found it hard. I found it hard growing up. So because people were always like, oh, is that your, who's, who's that? Is that your mum? And is that your dad? Like, mm. but so, but because my other siblings went to the same school as well. Mm. So it's like, and who, because my nan's mixed race as well, they were like, why is your mummy brown? Your nan's mixed race? Who's that? Yeah. Yeah. So like, so the kids would be like, "How are you, brothers and sisters? Mm, Who's yeah. that man picking? Why is your Why is your mummy brown? She mm. can't be your mummy and stuff like." Right. So as a kid, it's hard, isn't it? You don't understand, yeah. you know. So I think then as a as a at a, at a when I got into adolescence, mm. and you start finding yourself, I very much like. That's when I was like, you know, I've always loved porn. <laughs> I've always loved porn. I'm not porn, but I've always enjoyed in like Beatrix. Yeah, but I've also enjoyed like being out in the fields and like with the walk the puddles and stuff being like that. Being I've always enjoyed that that feeling on my skin and stuff. Being in the park. Being in the park. Well, it depends what you're doing, doesn't it? Beating in the park. Beating in the park. Socking what's green. what's that? <laughs> like beat or having a wank? No. What's beating? Having sex. In oh. The park, in the fields. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. I've loved that. I always loved that. Okay. So was you like more so like a like when you was... What, when I was... Young, yeah. yeah. Did you I, sleep around a lot? Uh, uh, a bit. Mm. But not because... But I think, again, it was all searching and finding and yeah. having learning to... I think when you're younger... I think sex is very powerful, isn't it? It's very powerful in a good way when you're in love with someone. Like, it's very empowering. It's mm. very... But I think also having sex is when you're not in a good headspace, it gives you that wanting and accepting feeling, doesn't it? And I think I think us girls, I think we do easily do that, I think. In the wrong headspace. In the wrong headspace, mm. definitely. So have you had you not had much relationships, like proper relationships? Yeah. yeah. I have had relationships and some long ones, like, you know, not great. And, but I would say it's only been the last couple of years I've actually started a bit of soul searching and finding myself. And I tell you what, through, through OnlyFans as well, like, and doing this line of work I've met some amazing people. fucking people and like some of them have like become really good friends mm. uh, over just the last year or yeah. so that I've been doing it and because I think a lot of girls have stories and a lot of background stuff trauma I do think I do think a lot of it is mm-hmm. um but yeah doing this and also like as I said like with the bakery the is the bakery like your safe space? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Like I enjoy it. I enjoy doing the live. Like we have a laugh. So we... before the bakery, mm. what was your friendship circles like? Because it seems like you maybe starting to change them now. They're starting to be more into. I've them. lost so many people. Yeah. So many people. Because Through you or them. Me, because I'm not that Brie that wants to go out every weekend and okay. so do this and that. Like, I'm more about my family. I'm more about making sure that I'm secure financially and can help my grand. And, and that, like, that, that's like being grounded and like being happy. So you and some, like pe- some people say that's boring, like coming home to your dogs. Having a cup of tea with your gran, mm. getting up, taking the dogs to the beach for the walk in the morning. But that's like that's that. I'm the happiest I've been doing that stuff. So you was more like partying before drugs, all of that stuff. Yeah, alcohol. yeah, yeah. But you think you're happy at the time. Mm. You think you're happy and you're having a laugh, but 
you're not. No. It's just covering shit. And, and you think certain people are happy for you, but you're just happy. They're happy for that purpose. Do you know what I mean? So then mm. when I was losing, I, I mean, I called him uncle, but he was my nan's companion and he, he helped bring me up. Mm. And when I lost him, you know, you do, you, you revert, like all of that wasn't important, but the people that come knocking on my door to see if I was all right or drop me a text or like... Mm. It was really surprising. It wasn't the people that I thought were your friends that, you know, oh, what are you up to this weekend? Coming up, blah, 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 you know, or the ones staying over the night. But actually it's because you've got your own house and you can do all of that. Do you know what I mean? It's, and I think... users, basically. Yeah. I don't, not users as such, but, like, I think some people aren't good for your soul and you don't yeah. realise it at the time. Yeah. And I think it's not till you do a bit of soul searching and you have a bit of time out of the rat race, you have a bit of time out of the this adult in shit. <laughs> Sometimes you think- people, some people can take your energy, take a lot of energy out of you and you don't even know it. Like it's your friends, but it's like they're probably looking for other things and, yeah. it's, and it's taken from you and that relationship. Yeah, yeah. Even though it's, it's, it's not built on anything bad, it can just be bad Yeah. at that time. So and it, and it is, it's, and it's just like a circle. And it's not till something happens, like, like my uncle. Mm. And like, you know, you've got no control over that. So you have to change your mind shift. Like my important thing was helping him, helping my grand, mm. moving back home to care and help. And then, you know, over time you, you blink and then all the time, those people that you thought were your friends... Because you're not there every weekend and whatever, it's like they they still carry on doing yeah, whatever, but right. they're not actually giving a shit about you. So, do you think them days are over, or do you still like sometimes have a little? Don't get me wrong. I do like when it's a, when it's a time to party. I do love yeah. to party. Yeah, I'm a I'm a house and garage girl. Oh yeah. Yeah. What what kind of uh, festivals? I used to love. Um, Oh, God, what is that one called? We Are Festival. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We Are. Essex. Yeah. But I, yeah, I love that. And uh, they've got rid of it now, but the Coronet in um, Elephant and Castle. Some good yeah, garage yeah, moves yeah, yeah, there, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I love all that. And don't get me wrong, I love all that. But also I just think, like, just just being happy. I just think – I think what it is as well, I think – Watching somebody mm. die that you love that doesn't want to die. <laughs> but, like, you know what's important? Mm. And it's not all the shit that we think. No, 100%. It's not all the materialistic shit. The, like, it's the real shit. Mm. You know? 100%. And I think, I, think that's, I think that's been a massive... And then doing all of this OnlyFans stuff. I had started it thinking, right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get my tits out. I'm going to make some money. I'm going to do this. And actually, I've delved more into my kink, found an accepted lot, found that I'm not the only person that likes doing that. Mm. I've made some really good friends along the way that also have... Similar kinks. Yeah, and also have had shit go on, you know. that. Oh, and even though it's like OnlyFans and stuff, like it's... it's they're, they're working, they're working to better themselves as well. And I think people are very quick to go, oh, she's on OnlyFans, she's getting her tits out, she's doing that. Oh, she must be like shallow, she must be thick as shit. But like, you know what, you know, I've got a degree in masters. Like, I'm not sitting there like a thick bimbo going, oh, I don't know what to do with my life. Like, mm-hmm. it's like, life's hard as well. It's, it's ex- you know, I've got my grand to think about I've, and your future. And I just think if you can... Mm. Enjoy what you're doing and make money. Get the cost of that. What exactly? <laughs> All of that. Oh, well, see- let's go on to the sin. <laughs> we want a sin. Oh god. Where are we going from here, Lico? <laughs> um Bree, I think. Keith? <laughs> you have a sin? <laughs> Come on, Keith. Come on, lighten the lighten the tone. Get rid of these tears. Come on, give me a sin. <laughs> Uh, what's your uh, biggest sin? <laughs> Brie. Oh, God. You must have fought a few on the way down from Essex today. 
Yeah, but not many I want to talk about. Shut up. Uh, shut up. <laughs> custard. I can talk about custard all day. You thought of them, so that means you thought well, about speaking about thought, them. So I'm saying if you've been throwing one bag of stuff over people, you've definitely gone worse than that. Or you've got... <laughs> <laughs> it's not worse though I love it Smiley assassin I can tell you You got something Yeah but I love that shit There you go then And so do you love your sin Yeah What is it What doing that <laughs> Nah it's, I don't know <laughs> what it is but it's, it's something that you love doing That's sinful <sighs> I don't know Because in, uh, in a way I feel like a sin is something That you really shouldn't be doing or you shouldn't have done, like... Shouldn't be throwing custard over people. Why? They... <laughs> so what do you mean, why? <laughs> why? No, obviously, if it's their king, that's, their king. that's not really a sin, is it? Oh, yes. is, is, is your girl throwing custard over you? Just no. be honest. No, no, no. Yeah, but you don't want her to. No. If you did, then no. she would. Key. Definitely what about not. some cream and chocolate? See, I don't mind cream. <laughs> but your girl throwing cream over you? Never. You're, no, you're putting, putting the cream, the cream on, on her. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind that. Where are you putting it on the pooch? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Not disclosing anything. <laughs> Yo. But that is that is worm. Yeah, I I understand what worm is. Yeah. <laughs> he knows exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you knew what worm was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah um, going on Are you not Brie? Yeah. <laughs> Are you subscribed? <laughs> <laughs> He's going home to do one with some jam. Definitely not. Definitely not. Can you send me a photo? It, whoa. <laughs> yeah, don't get keys started. <laughs> Sorry, let you know about it. No one stuff. You 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 screaming all that? No. Have you? No. You never have. No. Keith. <laughs> I didn't even want no words, no words could come out, you know. <laughs> Go on then, what's your sin? Oh, I don't know. You do? No. Now, you thought of a few on the way down and you thought, oh, I can't say that. Mm-hmm. Well, look, you can. Okay, tell me one of yours. We can't. It's 100,000 uh, 100, subscribers. Ah, uh, it's 150. Yeah. yeah. So, what? And you can't... Until then. Until we then. get to there. So, if you get our subscribers to 150,000 then. What are we at now? 40. Boy. So, number 16 plus. So okay. Tell us one of your wildest ones and it one might day. get there. It's not a wild one, it's just something that I probably shouldn't have done and I'm not. Okay. You're not proud of it? No. Right. When, I, when I was doing, like, being a little bugger, mm-hmm. I sat with my ex's brother. Whoa. Murderer! And you think that's not bad? Yeah, that's bad. How did how 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 did that happen? Where you fat? Where you fat? Did he pour like ketchup on you and that turned you off? Like you were eating a burger. That's why he's my ex. <laughs> he wouldn't do it. <laughs> and the brother would. <laughs> <laughs> and mayo. <laughs> so it's who had the best sauce? His brother. <laughs> Basically, you're saying you're gonna be a cocky, basically. That's what you're saying. You did, innit? Oh, my word. Mm. So the cocky mattered. But this is what I mean. This is like when you're bay and bad and you're not, like, you do, you do this stupid shit, don't you? How did you get to do that, though? Because, so he was out and we were out and he was a bit flirty and whatever. Even though, and, I, and he was like, oh, you know, we were just chatting and whatever. And um, I said, joking around, I was like, oh, I picked the wrong brother, didn't I? Like, joking around or whatever, and next was history. Wait, you were still in a relationship? Where you're No, 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 no. Where you No. Oh, so you seen mm. him out, the brother, while you... Oh, I thought you was with the brother. No, no, oh, no, no. So you split up with him. And split then up with him. So at least that's so not... So. Then, <laughs> at least that's not that bad. That's, not that. yeah. that's crazy. But I would never do that now. So they, do they both know now? Yeah. What did the brother tell him or did you tell him? I think he found out. I heard he actually got married a couple of years ago and I heard that he didn't have him as his best man because of that reason. Because he only Mm. recently found out. Where you say? Split up a brotherhood. Dangerous. Suspicious. 
No, <laughs> it's not nice. I would never do that now, though. But again, that's just... You say that. When you think, no, I wouldn't. You say that. So, nah. so did you do it out of spite or you just what actually wanted to back then? Or did you actually feel like he was a better brother? That means you've always had them. And I, yeah, think yeah. It, I think when you're, when you're in that headspace, I think it's... Um, you did it out of... Challenging. You've been vindictive, was you? No, because I'm not that sort of person. Maybe you was back then. Well, maybe. Was it more of... Do you know what is well? I think it all comes back to that like just wanted feeling. I don't think it even mattered really that it mm. was his brother. I think it was just wanted. at the time attention. Attention. He wanted, yeah. it was attention and it was naughty attention. And I think that is and I think that is was my problem for a long time. Right, yeah. right, you right, would get it. into some right little pickles and I'd be like, Why did you do that? Why did why like why? Yeah. But so again, did you regret I, it instantly or did you do it again? No, I didn't do it again. So you regret it? Just twice. <laughs> I did. No, I did feel bad. Twice. I did feel bad. Twice, both times. Hmm? Both times you felt bad. Twice. <laughs> no, I did. It was just the once. So one, one just one half. round. Just one, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on, then. Whose two house? rounds. <laughs> Whose house? His. So you went to his house. He tiptoed me past the door. That's what do you mean? His brother's door. Like, what do you mean? As in, <gasps> mum's. The brother house? was there, bro. Murderer! She tiptoed <laughs> <tipped on him. laughs> Nah, the clock. Do you make noise when you have sex, or was it just like a silent one? Because I'm sure the brother would have heard and be like, hold on, I know that voice. No, I think. No, I wasn't. I don't know, I just didn't really think about it, to be honest. But I did have to sneak out at a certain time because he was getting up for football training on the Sunday. Mm-hmm. And how old was you at these times? I was only like 18, 19. Okay. So you're a baby, aren't you? You don't know. You yeah, do you know, yeah. but you yeah. don't know. <laughs> you, know, what, you, know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You knew you shouldn't have been doing Where you sat? Where you sat? Where you sat? Yeah. Where you sat? So I would say, yeah, so that is my, and I always, and you know what? I have actually apologised about it. To him. To To him, yeah. Yeah. And we do see each other out because he's. He's married now, isn't he? He's married now. And um, my brother is actually his, one of his best friend, uh, best man, and he was my brother's best man. So we do bump into each other and we're cool. So, and I apologise to him. But I hear he's a bit of a, he's Playing not been an angel since. Oh. So I think he maybe he's thought, you know, sometimes, you know, oh, things that. <laughs> he's married now, <laughs> leave him alone. No, not with his wife, of course. That was your sister. What's going on the big internet, you know? Uh, yeah. He's allegedly so, a bad guy. Allegedly. Right? allegedly. Prior. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you owe some money, mate. So, yeah. But yeah, you but I would say that's one of yeah something that I've not yeah not proud of. But we all do things, don't we? That it's part of growing. It's part of growing. It is growing. As I said, I would never do that again. So, go on. Do you so, believe you was? What's the stinkiest food you've ever put in yourself? I, I just need to know this. <laughs> He's loving this food stuff. Nah, nah, here, nah, you know? I'm, I'm He's loving um, this food stuff. Yeah. I did a really. <laughs> Stinky one a few weeks ago, and it was fish. Ooh. <laughs> fish. Ooh, I must say, ooh. ooh. Tins. Where did it go? Did it, did you like, do you like insert stuff and all that kind of stuff, or was it like? No, I'll get frushed badly. I was, I was say, yeah. mm. Got to look after you, Moo Moo. Yeah, you don't go back and forth, do you? No. It's a bit like that with that. You got to be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I do enjoy sex in custard and stuff, so. I was going to say, that's risky, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. But, uh, yeah, I would say you fish. You enjoy sex in custard? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Is it lying in custard? How many tins of custard have you got to have sex in custard? Because, like, I'm, I'm sure you just have one. Like, <laughs> so custard going up there as well? Okay, you have to be careful. What do, you, do you buy loads of tins of custard? My Tesco club card, I think I bought 530 cartons. In what space of time? <clears throat> when do they renew? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, three, uh, no, 500 and something litres. Yeah. Yeah, it come up something like so that. What do you do? Put it in the bath? Put it in the bath, yeah. In and a little pool. Yeah. Do you warm up the custard? It depends. 
So you would warm the coffee. So you have warmed up the coffee. So you have warmed up, yeah. Try it, it's nice. Oh, I'm okay, but <laughs> <laughs> what makes you wanna go in a pool of custard and just What's that? just you know Is that a kink? It's nice. What's your kink? Not, what gets not, you not going? Custard. Not custard type. <laughs> but you know that feeling? That's mine. That's why I'm just like Is it that thick custard or is it the yeah. the, the, the thin one? Thick. Yeah. Mm. Have you ever have you ever thought about doing a- AMSR? ASMR? A- yeah. Yeah. You no, got that, you got that voice for it, ain't you? Have I? You talk mm. all soft and that. What like when they go <laughs> <laughs> not in my ear. Take a step But like that, yeah. Yeah. You never thought about doing that? No. But like with the gunge and stuff like that, it does make all that noise, the noise. And sometimes you do do that and it does sound really good. Are you talking like this like on purpose or yeah. is this how you actually talk? Or is this your new, newfound this is my, spiritual? This is my voice. How do you want me to talk? No, I'm just wondering. Why do you like it? You see, look, you do. Have you took mushrooms before? Mushrooms? Mm, no. Because most people have them kind of things and then go on their little spiritual journey and, you know, start. Changing. Why did you have to think about it for so long? You have to keep once. Any. No, because I was just trying to think like, no, I remember having been around them and everything. Yeah. But I never actually, them. no, not mushrooms. No. So what have you taken? Mm. <laughs> um, I did used to love a joint. Okay. Yeah, I did used to love a joint. That's an innocent one. Yeah. There's, there's, there's another one in there. <laughs> is Key type? Is Key my well, type? No, no, he's not. No. Why are you single, Key? No, no, I'm Would married. You you? <laughs> she got that voice on again. <laughs> there she goes, Key. Married. Sorry. Are you married? <laughs> yeah, I'm married. I don't see a ring. Yeah, yeah, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> Just get that out there. <laughs> <laughs> so why isn't your side piece your piece? Like, why isn't he your man? Okay. Is he not... Like, does he want? Does he want to be? Yeah, <clears throat> I think well, you've had a side piece, right? Oh, okay, <laughs> so it's just your side piece then. That's no, but it. you know, <laughs> like, you're set? no, Where you're set? no, but it's it no, is I've more. I've never had a side piece, by the way. <laughs> no, it's pieces, side pieces. Me? Where you're set? <laughs> I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, <clears throat> we got him really well together and I fully respect him and I love him to bits and who knows? Is it a, is it a thing where he doesn't want to commit or you don't want? I think it's also that he knows where I've been the last couple, no, not in that way, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like mentally been and mm. he's the most respectful, lovely Human. Is he someone that has just took time out to listen to you, basically? Yeah. Yeah. And he, that's how you got set. He's he's been amazing, and I think until I'm on further on this journey, then I don't, I wouldn't want to fully give myself to him because he deserves nothing but the best. So if Key wanted to be, yeah, he's trying <laughs> to be attractive right now, yeah. Have you? Can you do whatever you you want to do? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, and he wouldn't be—he wouldn't be upset. He'd probably dead. be upset, but I would with him. But we just don't—you don't talk about it. Unless like a relationship. Mm. No, but you don't talk about it. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I did go out on a night out and something mm. happened, I wouldn't then come back and go, oh, blah blah blah. So then you'd be dishonest. Then. And the same with him. No, we just, it's just unspoken about. It doesn't need to be spoken so what about. What if he said that you beat? Huh? What if he asked? We just don't. No, but what if what he, he did? did? What would you say? I'd have to did? tell him the truth. Yeah. And now he's upset. But it would be... <laughs> That's when they would end up <laughs> together. See, yeah. they're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Basically, and they don't even know it. Yeah. No, I just think... You're in a relationship. <clears throat> yeah, but a relationship is so, it's so... It's got a title for a reason. Are you back in with your nan and that right now? Um, Back and forth. <laughs> So that's maybe because because you're focusing on that too much. Maybe you ain't. She is my main focus. focus. Yeah. Like she is. So is that part of the reason why you think you ain't full gone full throttle? Yeah, as I said, I can't. I can't. I'm still dealing with 
shit. Okay. And I think when I lost my uncle, it brought up a lot of my childhood that I've never spoken about. And he understands <clears throat> And I've been going to therapy for it and stuff like that. So for me, he sees me like growing and, and nurturing myself and healing myself. Like I'm healing this little girl that I've never dealt with. Or is he older? Him. No, he's actually a bit younger. No, a few years. But he's like, but he is wonderful. He's such a wonderful person. Okay, he's like a young boy. <laughs> is he black? No. <laughs> <laughs> Would that matter? You ever had black before? <laughs> <laughs> For the record, not, not with me. <laughs> Where you at? Where you at? Okay, asking very personal right. questions here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. saying, you know, you're I know what you're yeah. 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 uh, Why are you offering? Is I'm that where it's going? <laughs> Key, you're in trouble. <laughs> okay, it all gets picked up. Just <laughs> Why do they pick when you gay? Now it's his first time on the this show, on this show, and it can be very challenging on this show, you know, especially in you know. It is quite like emotional. I think I've like gone to cry twice. <laughs> yeah, I've seen can you get, get, <laughs> can get it's like a fairy possession. I know <laughs> it is though. Well, we've we've been talking for quite a long time, to be fair, and yeah, we've had uh, a lot to speak about. Um, considering it's only you today I know I'm so nervous how do you feel now you're alright now you're relaxed I'm alright I'm relaxed Uh, let's do it get it off your chest Um, so this is anonymous questions from just a pool of questions that are thrown at us from anonymous people we don't know who it is and they just want my opinion they just want anyone's opinion okay Okay, if you loved a girl would you tell her first or would you wait until she does if I loved a girl... If you loved a man, yeah. just just yeah. just say if you loved a man, would you wait till he tells you or would you tell him first? I'd tell him first. Yeah. Life's too short. Tell him first. Who? <laughs> I've, I've told, told, him. I've told him how I, how I feel. Love. Love's very deep, isn't it? Did you tell him you love him? I'm not the L word. Oh. So what did you say? I like you a lot. No, but you can love you can love somebody yeah, very so deeply. Did you say I love you though? Like, obviously, in, in you obviously said to him, "I love you," but you're just trying to make us understand that it's not in that way. But did you say to him, "I love you"? I haven't said I, I love, love you, you. No. as in like I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. But you I said, love I, you I as love, a person. Love for you. And I would, I, w- I, w- as I said, who knows? It's just yeah. mentally he deserves the best, and I can't give him the best just yet, and I don't. I would love, and then once that's all sorted, and don't worry, we're not trying to force you on. Yeah. You. You, can find, you can find someone else <laughs> tomorrow. You get know what I mean, Keep or even today. You know. Okay, okay. <laughs> Married. <Sorry. laughs> all right, then. I was doing the washing for me and my partner, and found skid marks in his underwear. Do I confront him or say nothing? Say nothing. No, nah, you gotta confront him. Nah, God. What? You if keep, you found you, skid constantly marks? Constantly, you keep seeing skid marks when you're washing his underwear. Constantly? Yeah, I'll, I'm going to go with constantly. So I'd have to mention something if it was constantly. If it's just once, then... If it's just... It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just is what it is, isn't it? Like, yeah, you boys sometimes you get... Showering always. You boys sometimes get little bits in there, don't you, and stuff. <laughs> Why just you boys? Well, and us girls, we get bits <laughs> in there. <laughs> Don't we? We all, yeah. So you would just... I wouldn't leave. embarrass him. So if you just leave it for the... What, what, if it was constant, though? No? If it was constant, I'd you be know, like, yo, babe. Babe, fix up. Yeah. <laughs> but if it was just the odd little bit, do you know what I mean? Because mm. like us girls, like, there's probably daily stuff in that. Like. What, like goners? <laughs> <laughs> no, but girls... Because yeah, you like get wedges. We, yeah, we get wet all day, yeah. don't we? So there's going to be... Wetness. It's not nasty stuff it's just wet it's just yeah. women oh. wet stuff definitely won't get involved in that one <laughs> <laughs> alright then uh, we've had this one before but I'm a married man no sorry I'm married and my husband has decided to go on holiday with a female friend is that normal cheered I wouldn't like that I don't think so he's gone away. So his wife's at home and he's gone on I holiday know. with no, another girl. She, I'm married and mm. my husband has decided to go on, yeah, on holiday with a female friend. Is that normal? 
So See, it's hope. hard because one of my best friends is a male and I could easily stay in bed with him. In fact, we have been out. Nothing's ever happened between us. We've both had a drink and he has put, like, we've gone in, been in the same bed together and nothing's ever happened. And he's married? No, we were both single at the time. But if but, he had it... But uh, I'm just saying, like, so you can have... You can have... A male yeah, friend. Yeah, but you both single, though. What if he, would you be doing the same things if he, if he had a wife? She probably wouldn't allow it because not many of his girlfriends like me. See? So they probably wouldn't allow it, no. But I was just saying from another perspective, I, I know that I could go away with him and it would be absolutely innocent. Yeah, but if you put it on him, yeah. do you think you'll take it? We spoke about it once and we were like, what if we actually had like sex? So who and it would be weird. Subject? My best boy, mate. So he brought up the subject. About. We were, I can't can't remember, but we got onto the subject of it, and I was like, you can't would, remember, yeah. I was like, would you, would it weird you out? And he was like, yeah, I think it would. I was like, yeah, I think it would weird me out as well. Oh, he tried to test the cards. <laughs> Do you think? Not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. We've been best friends since we were like oh, three. You can't even see the signals. That doesn't even mean nothing. She can't even see the signals. He does. He's a straight guy. Yeah. Yeah. And you've never slept together before. No, nothing That's ever. What I mean, like, get him on the phone now. Yeah. Say. <laughs> Um, Has he ever know, gone you? So I've just come from no. Birmingham and for some reason I've been thinking about you. Like, what are you doing later? I can't because he's got a girlfriend now. I oh, see. There you go. Could you go and sleep with him in the bed now? No, she. I could. I yeah, know that it would be innocent, but I don't think she'd approve of that. See. So, no, no. So, it's so respect, it be, though, isn't it? It's it would boundaries. Be weird then, basically. Yeah. I, yeah. If I was that lady, then yeah. Do you think your you relationship would be broken if you did that? Or do you think you could still carry on? Like, do it once and then carry on as friends? What, someone you cheat? think that's possible? Yeah. What, me and my best boy, mate? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think we're that close. So I'd like to think we could just laugh it off. Yeah. Because it would be that, like, what the fuck did we just do? Yeah. You're in there, son. Just <laughs> You're in there, son. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, that you. I'm talking at the camera. That's my man. <laughs> oh, hey, Yo, Key, calm down. Yo, you married, son. I ain't gonna lie, you, you were looking at me there, son. No, I was looking at the camera. <laughs> All right, then. Um, yeah. Key, I don't know if you've prepared. Uh, for Key this ain't prepared part. anything. He's been too excited talking yeah. about gunge. <laughs> This is normally a section where the barman would have questions that I would prepare for. Questions for the barman. I do have a question, actually. Okay. So you did say that you were um, getting into BDSM and that realm. So what have you done so far and how far do you think you're going to go? What have I done so far? Human toilet. So, no. Don't do that. I enjoy... Don't do that. I enjoy, like, gags and caning. Mm. Spanking, role play, I love. What else were we doing? Humiliation. Humiliation. I've really been enjoying caning. Mm. Mm. Okay. But yeah. So you and into dominatrix and all that. Then? Yeah, I've yeah I've dominatrix is like. It's not. Ju- yeah, it's not just. I can't just put on a cat suit and have a cane and call myself a dom. Like it's, mm. a, but I am enjoying expressing myself yeah. and learning and trying new stuff. Like uh, was it a couple of months ago? I was wrapped up in like that, like shrink wrapped stuff all the way, so you couldn't move, and it was quite a, a weird sensation being mm. so vulnerable. But then. I had loads of guns poured over me as well. So it's a fun. Here yeah, comes the gun. <laughs> yeah, okay, you need to come down and try my gun tank I, out. I don't know what you're bringing me into this, you know. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. So, wait, so what's your, at this yeah. present moment, what is your like ultimate face that you want to do? That I want to do? Yeah, that you haven't. Mm. God, that's really hard. Don't know. What what, what What's her fetish, basically? What's oh, the okay. What that side of things? Yeah, yeah. So, what haven't you done that you want to do? That's really hard to answer because I didn't really think that I would try any of that. So, probably like just try a bit more of the spanking stuff. I do enjoy that. Mm. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, it's um. 
It's funny how you just end up trying different things. I think once you start one kink and then go into different shoots and different people and they're like, oh, do you want to come and try this? Do you want to try this? Do you want to try that? And you think, yeah, well, then why not? Have you, have you done swingers parties and all that? No. Is I've that got that friends that do it. Mm, not your thing? I don't think... I don't... F- swinging. I could go as a... Mm, go with your A single... <laughs> Yeah, I personally mm. don't think I could do it, like, as a couple. Mm. Um, but I've got loads of friends that do it, and they're very happy. Like, Makes sense. Makes but sense. everyone's different, aren't they? All right, then. All right, then. Uh, you gave me your biggest sin. To end the show, we need your best deed, you know, something you've done for yourself or someone else that you're proud of. Equal out like, the energy, you know. Throw away that... Uh, ex's boyfriend <laughs> thing and just mm. something to cancel just repent that. basically yeah. okay um i'm proud of the woman that i'm becoming i'm proud of me been through some shit um don't want to cry again three times <laughs> but also um you know and i'm this year i've said to myself i'm gonna grow and i'm gonna be the best version of me um and that is why I'm doing, you know, like even being here, like I'm bag of nerves, but I was like, mm. I pulled alongside the road and I was like, no, I'm coming. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm uh, going to uh, come. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm not coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm not coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Because okay, I I'm doubt coming. I've, I've all my life grown up doubting myself. Yeah. And like when, like, as I said, when I was expelled and I was a little shit and stuff and I lost myself. That's why I said to myself, so I remember going to my grand and I was like, now I'm going to go to uni. She was the only person that said, you can do it, darling. Everyone else laughed and were like, you're not going to get, can't, what are you going to do? And I did. And I fucking grafted. I went to evening college. I got all my grades. I spent nearly eight years studying to get my degree and my master's. I've, and then like this year, I've said to myself, I'm just going to like, I just want positivity and good yeah. energy and good vibes. And that's like... I got on a plane this year, so I went and had hypnotherapy and got myself on the plane because oh, I did the skydive oh, yeah. and it put yeah. the shits up me. Yeah. Um, and I did the London Marathon. Um, I raised um, money for the hospice that helped care for my dad for him to come home. A lot of these, yeah, man. So, and yeah, just have a good, yeah, and do good, like, you know, and, and as I said, just like with... With the bakery lot, I've got so many people on there that are mm. going through trouble and turn to wet and messy and stuff that, you know, it helps you forget life sometimes. And it's nice that people can feel that they can talk to me, A, about their kink, but also as a human. I'm not sitting there going like, you know, I'm going to only message me if you're going to send me some money. Like, I'm mm. like, I'm here. I'm here. Like, mm-hmm. it's nice. Okay. Just be a, a good... Wow. Good year. I appreciate you coming down all the way from us. Oh, thank you um, for having me. If you me. want to, you can shout out your socials or. Thank you. There. Well, yeah, my Brie Brie Olivia. Or. Uh, Wet and Messy. The Wet and Messy, which is uh, Bees Messy's Bakery. B S M E S S Y B A K E O Y. Thank you for coming, Brie. Thank you for having me. It's thank you for being kind. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> it's been like a fairy procession. It has. Yeah, mum. I'm going to be driving back to Essex like this. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy yourself anyway. Um, yeah, no, thank you. Uh, I've been seen a speed. I've seen a local. And we're out. Whoa.